back at the Shiseido Tahiti Pro presented by Outer Known into the round of 16 for the man. First seat out in the water, Griffin Colapinto coming up against Kauli Vas. So, uh, yeah, feeling uh, that Kauli Vas off to a fast start here, pulls into the barrel, gets under the curtain there. Nice cut back for the goofy foot from Vial. And Kauli's going to start again. He's been having these quick starts, he's been working in his favor. Score on the board. We're waiting for the first number for Kauli Vas. Make Griffin think about it. And here it is, a little inside runner on the inside reef. And we've seen him be able to find these waves time and time again. That's one thing about being a local is that you can take waves that aren't necessarily set waves, but they have a certain look and a certain line to them that you know that maybe produce a number on it. And that's exactly what Cowley's done right here. It's not going to be a massive one, but again. Wow. I'm actually surprised it's only a 2.67 watching this. You know, the depth of it, the length of the tube. All of that comes into it. Also, the fact that, you know, critical sections, that was going to be a, a much smaller wave, obviously. It's like, you know, a little slightly overhead, maybe. But, uh, yeah, not one of the bigger set waves. Obviously, uh, judges taking note of that. Carries a lot of speed. One little section maybe disappeared there. Yep, he's gone and comes out very quickly. Call the other priority. Kisses another wave. This one a little bit bigger. Stalls off the bottom, under the hook again, and comes out as predicted. Strong surfing. Maybe a little better score on this wave for a bigger wave. Limited time in the tube, however, so we'll see how that pans out for the 21-year-old local. Oh, yep, okay, so I'm going to sit underneath. But this is the setup. See the delayed bottom turn, little carve up underneath it. Gets out and see how he sees that section he's going to come down on. Rather than punch through it, he comes out low, comes out with speed. And slightly better as uh, Cowley's going to get another number quickly out of this heat. Got to love how he just tucks under it. That's the flow element. And then seeing that, ah, my clamshell, I'm going to just go out, get out of it with a nice bottom turn straight into it. And that's just rail to rail transitions, great flow. I mean, shoot, if he's on the Challenger Series, you see big numbers here. <laughs> Instead, only a 3.5. On to the quarterfinals where Cowley beat Matthew McGillivray after McGillivray. Scored a 10 in the previous ride, previous round. Kauli again, wave number three in the barrel, long stretching one this time. And even Kauli Voss can't make it out of that. Voss then went to the semifinals last year. Get back to that as Griffin Colapinto uses his priority. Oh. And we're going to see a little paddle battle right now back to the peak between Kauli Voss and Griffin Colapinto. There they are. 17.33 two wave total for Kauli Voss. And he was into the final where he was then defeated by Miguel Pupo with run up finish. But Kauli, just those numbers, and you look at the performance from both this year and last year, he's one of the guys to beat out. What do you think, Pete, about coming through here and not having as much pressure if you're not really looking at a final five option? We'll get back to that, Kaipo. Kola Pinto needs to fight for an exit and sure does. A little magician right there, lacked. That's going to be his best number, but, uh, you know, again, it's fairly low scoring affair. You have a nice comparison already with the 267 and the 35 of Cowley. Jordy ahead of him, Ian Gentile ahead of him, Baron. So if he can uh, find a way, as we watch the replay here of this last one for Griffin, waves get a little hollower, fingers crossed. Try and keep that wind blowing out of that easterly direction, but I mean, just the ever so slight change in degrees, and all of a sudden you get a little three foot chop coming across the Cowley face. Cowley sees the bend in this one, pulls in and reads it well. Rail grab and yanks on that JS Industry boards back into the cutback, kicks out. You could see that we had that drone angle going into this, and the bend on that wave that was on offer for Cowley Vas. He was able to backdoor right into that section. Mike tell you all well done. And see how it's just running. It gets bigger as it grows down the line. Quickly in and out and the beautiful carve. I love that he's actually emphasizing turns because it will come into play. I and mean, you start looking at everybody getting it's kind of similar rides, somehow showcasing a little point of difference. You know, get that rail sinking in the water. And he does that. He's figured it out, what boards work for him here, how much speed he needs to take. As you see, drops behind it, disappears. Nice, intense section, short but ultimately going to be the best way of the heat so far and make sure as he grabs that rail, look at yanks on that rail and that is a solid move. That is utilizing commitment into the rail. I mean, with all that speed. Cola Pinto here, drags his body, finds a cover. It clamps on top of him, tries to fight for an exit 
and just has to succumb to that wave incomplete for Griffin Cola Pinto. Pretty much what it would be. He wins two off the number one seat, or actually wins uh, whoever he has to surf against. And then uh, wins two in the final match. He's a world champion. Yeah, that's right. Fulfills that destiny in which he feels like is his destiny. Again, he knows what he's looking for. You can see where he is in the lineup, and now Griffin's going to take uh, some leftovers, see what he can do with it. Oh, off the top with a big one there, and another snap on the backhand for Cola Pinto. And with that, uh, we're going to see some maneuvers, and those were kind of critical. We've seen that the judges aren't uh, necessarily looking for that as regards to bigger numbers. Cowley let this wave go. And nice hook there. I mean, that was right in a critical section. Air drops out of it and then gets some release. So two beautiful turns. And that will be it. But there is still barrels on offer. So ultimately, that's what he's looking for. But that would have felt pretty darn good for uh, Griffin Cola Pinto. That one, especially when he comes out of it and gets this release here. Look at that. In the cup. And airs out of it. So uh, two critical turns. So we're going to be testing the criteria field a little bit with the judges yeah because I, it wasn't a barrel but those are high-risk maneuvers yeah, they were so Cowley again uh, understands all the differences uh, of what these that's where being a local and, and surfing here all the time really is very helpful <laughs> and he wants this one so he's identified this one as a good one pumps into the barrel and it is a nice square barrel for Cowley Voss wave selection Saw it coming in. Superior. And, uh, yeah, and you can see that they're, again, those ones with the extra water, the loaded up water, they're more critical. The drop was more critical. It was hollower. So the judges will take all of that into consideration. Look at this. Not super deep, but I will say the drop and the technical aspect of him seeing that wave, getting in position for it. But look how hollow it gets. You know, he knifes into it, pumps up. He probably would have loved to have stalled just at ever so slightly because. Uh, would have been able to maximize, get a little more depth out of it. But it still feels like he may improve on the 3.5. But again, you look into the depth, right? Where you can't see him at all is where the judges really want to see it. But look how hollow that wave is. And that's on the inside ledge. He identified the inside ledge. That's that shallow portion of the reef. He saw it. It loaded up on it. Colin's going to keep surfing. Under the ledge here, one more time, pulls in on the takeoff, disappears. This time, no exit. But a 6.17 checks in for the previous wave of four Kauli Voss. He's sitting on his lineups. He knows where he's been. He's got has enough experience out here. Kauli takes off deep. Long wall, crumbly section, and nothing doing there. Yeah, that's the risk of being that deep on the point, is that uh, you're not always going to get that big, wide, round one. 40 seconds, and it's going to be Kauli deep again on this one. Just going to have to screech down the line. 30 seconds for Cola Pinto. Yeah, he needs some magic right now. Another dream run for the wild card, the local wild card, Kauli Voss, once again advancing into the quarterfinals. We have our first quarterfinalists all set. We're going to set up with some more.